right, good evening, everyone. Thank you, everyone that came out tonight, that took the time to come celebrate my sister and her new husband. Can we have a round of applause for the couple? So we are here today to celebrate, <laughs> to celebrate probably my one oldest friend in the world. Josh, I've known you for a long time. I mean, I think we were like two years old when we knew each other. But um, the first thing I, the first thing I realized about you is you're an intense guy, like super intense. Um, and I realized even way back when that you would need a very special person. and that she's been able to find someone that loves her almost as much as I do. Um, and that will hopefully make her like 75% like as happy as like I probably make her. And I realized even way back when that you would need a very special person to be with that, that could handle that intensity and not only handle it, could return it. And... It's kind of funny, the first thing Cody actually mentioned to me during like first year of med school, she was like, I'm trying to get married by the time we graduate med school. And I'm like, sis? Where are you gonna find someone? How's it gonna work out? And little did I know, during orientation, she met this bearded man over here. <laughs> Dear Joshua, I'm so grateful that God allowed me to find you, that we'll be able to spend an entire lifetime treasuring Christ and all he has done for us together. Since we met, you have become my best friend, my protector, and my biggest reminder of God's love. Cody, as it pleases the Lord, I set you as a seal upon my heart, as a seal upon my arm. For love is strong as death, jealousy is fierce as the grave. Its flashes are flashes of fire, the very flame of the Lord. Many waters cannot quench love, neither can floods drown it. Let this be the foundation of my promise to you, that in all things, by the grace of God, I bear the fruits of love. We pray that you may declare that no weapon fashioned against this union shall breed, shall thrive, shall succeed. As their family and friends, we claim their destiny together and we ask you to declare it blessed. I wish you the best. I wish you love. I wish you kindness. I want you two to be candid to each other, always loving and always trusting. May God bless both of you and grant you your heart desire in everything that you do, in everything that you want in life.
From the beginning of the creation, God made them male and female. For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother, and cleave to his wife. You're about to start your own family. The, the, the history of both your past and, and your upbringing, all the great and good you learn from it. Never forsake your history. You don't have to. But don't do it at the expense of forgetting your future. Because it's your future. I'd like to share with you a, a proverb that always stuck with me. It happens to be a Nigerian proverb, but it's fitting for what we're going over. And it said this, it says this, until the lion learns how to write, every story will glorify the hunter. Weep not, for the lion of the tribe of Judah hath prevailed to open the book and to loose the seals thereof. I know Josh found the right woman for him. Josh, I wish you and Cody the happiest marriage and blessings now and years to come. May the Lord always be with you guys. My brother in 1998. And ever since I met him, he's been a pretty cool dude. <laughs> Cody definitely met the right dude. <laughs> they are both very honorable, and I just want to wish them the best, and God bless your marriage. Thank you. see what the future holds um, but yeah I'm just grateful for all the good vibes so to Cody <laughs> to Cody and Josh I'm Alex I'm honored to be chosen as one of Josh's four best men uh, I've known Josh since I was about seven we met on the soccer field quickly became like family <laughs> as a wonderful person that Josh has always been Cody coming into his life has been such a blessing. I've seen him grow in ways that I never would have imagined. Cody certainly improved Josh's fashion sense. <laughs> it's great to, uh, to no longer see Josh wearing his baby tees that are about three sizes too small. All jokes aside, you look beautiful tonight, Cody and you clearly bring out the best in Josh. With this ring, do you promise before God and the assembly to love, to honor, to lead through Christ-like service and sacrifice? The woman whose hand you now hold to take her to be your lawfully wedded wife for as, 
as long as you both shall live. Do you? With all of my heart, I do. Praise the Lord. And Josh is great. He's probably the funniest person I know without actually trying to be funny. <laughs> uh, you guys are an amazing couple, and I wish you all the happiness and success, and I hope you get honors in all your med school rotations. You deserve it. <laughs> to Josh and Cody. Congratulations in your marriage. And if you join me in a toast to the two most genuine and kind-hearted couple, Wishing them many years of health, happiness, and love. By the sovereign authority of the Word of God and the eternal witness of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, by the earthly authority of the state of Connecticut and the temporal witness of all those assembled, I now pronounce you husband and wife, you may absolutely kiss the bride. <laughs> One more time, please. You may absolutely kiss the bride. You make me happy. You wish you can rest. You sit right beside me. Yeah. And I won't regret. I really love you, you should know, I want to make sure I'm right, boy, before I let go, now we had a good time, that we can say. 